welcome back to Last Looks. My name is Carly and uh, today I am going to be doing a hair video. Uh, I recently promised a new heatless hair video that will come out soon, uh, but today I was feeling the 60s vibes. I thought that I would attempt a fun, cute 60s flip hairstyle that I thought might be fun to have around the holidays. I know that I try to lean towards more vintage hairstyles around the holidays. I don't know, it just feels right. And also recently I gave my grandmother a haircut and I styled her hair in this cute 60s flip and now I want it. So, um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. I feel like I should change my shirt because I feel like y'all can't see my hair. Should I? I think probably. All right, still wearing a pretty much obligatory at this point black outfit, but uh, my hair is a lot more visible. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Today I will be heat styling my hair. So I'm gonna start with my favorite, one of my favorite hair products of all time. This is the Pantene 10 in 1 uh, Miracle Rescue Multitasking Spray. It has heat protection, it has um, UV protection, it's a leave-in conditioner product. Basically, it like helps you style your hair pretty. It's just nice. So I just kind of spritz that all over my hair before I start styling. I need a little bit of a brush. A little bit of a brush. <laughs> I'm like, that's not how it works. I'm gonna get a brush and just pull that through. My hair is clean today, which is rare, but I don't think your hair needs to be clean to do this style. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the middle part, even though I don't think that'll be important later, because I'm gonna wear my bangs down as bangs. And in fact, that is what we will start with. Oh, and today I have a little bit of eggnog because I'm feeling the I'm feeling the Christmas spirit. Sue me. All right. So I am going to start with the very front section of my bangs. Let's pull this down. And then I usually curl them back, but I do believe today I'm gonna try to go like full, hey mama, welcome to the 60s, Tracy Turnblad, and curl them forward and wear them as like big bumped up 60s bangs. I just feel like that'll be fun. And I'm using a little bit smaller of a curler than I want my curls to be, just so I can brush them out real nice. And then I'm gonna clip them because when they set in the clip, it just helps them give a more authentic vintage look. I just, I, you'll never be able to convince me otherwise. Now I'm gonna do my next section of bangs like that. All right, now I'm gonna take my hair layer by layer from the top to the bottom. And the first couple of layers, I'm going to roll down to create that um, like bumped up uh, look. And then the next couple of layers, I will curl upwards so it creates uh, the flip. So I'll show you a couple of these downward facing curls. And on the back of my head, I'll do downward facing curls. You guys get what I mean. Um, and then I'll just do them. So, like this. Whoa. And then see, I take this top piece and I just curl it downward to create that vintage volume up at the top. All right, and I'm gonna do that all the way around my head for I believe two layers. If I do differently, I will come back and let you know, but I'm gonna do that 
off camera so you don't have to watch the same motion over and over again and I will be right back. All right, now that I have my top few layers curled down, I am going to go ahead and curl the rest of my layers upward. And I'm gonna show you guys how I do that now. So basically, I just will want to flip my wrist the other way and curl it upward. And I feel like a lot of upward curling can be, can turn into like towards the face curling and that's okay as long as I make sure to, when my curler comes out, make sure that I'm not going towards the face like that. I'm going up this way, this way, instead of this way, um, and clipping it in the upwards, in the upward facing position so that it can do that flip up thing that I am hoping will come out of this. My hair is quite a bit longer than my grandma's who I just last did uh, this hairstyle on and what really inspired this. Um, but I noticed that lots of women with medium length hair had this hairstyle in like the photos I looked at in the 60s. Like um, I think that kind of what I'm going for with my sort of medium length hair is uh, like a Mary Tyler Moore type of thing which I love, except she has a side bang and I have front bangs, but see, it sort of turns into towards the face and then I'm just gonna curl it back up. And I just have a couple of bottom layers here, so I am going to go ahead and just curl the rest of my hair that way that I just showed you, and again, be right back. All right, uh, I curled the underside of my hair upwards like I said I would, uh, now I look stunning and gorgeous and also I let now you know that there's a mess which you could have assumed um I have also let it sit for a minute just enough like literally probably like 10 minutes just enough for it to cool I was honestly watching a movie so now I'm gonna take them all out and we're gonna see what we're working with so enjoy watching this Now that this is all brushed out, or not brushed out, taken out of their clippies, now we're gonna go ahead and brush them out. So, where are my bangs? Ooh, right here, looking quite cute, right? Pretty cute. Ooh. Now, let's get on with this side. Are you gonna flip? Are you gonna flip? Kind of, not really. Ooh, that's kind of nice. We've got some flippage here with my shorter layers. I might have to get the straightener out. I don't know. I've got myself a little comb. Let's make these bangs more uh, stiff. So that they sit nice and right. And then also, let's take right behind the bangs and comb it backwards. That feels important too. 60s hairstyles, for me, there's not much of a part. It's just like the hair behind the bangs goes straight into the like poofy area. So let's take some of that up and start doing a little bit of teasing. Cause that's fun. Smooth it out a little bit. Get the wider part of the comb. Whoa. Here we are. <laughs> Come on. Don't make me indecent now. Right up behind the bangs, tease that piece up to really start that nice poof. Should we even? Nah. That looks so cute. That is immediately so much more 60s. All right, 
Now that my curler is heated up, let's just take this whole bottom layer, not separated from the rest of my hair, and just flip it up. Is this hot yet? Ow, yes. It came out of its little thingy. There we go. That's a little bit of something. My hair is so long, oh my goodness. You know what we can do now? We can tease this part up a little bit so that this is a lot more, can you guys see what's going on here? More exaggerated now. Wow, my hair is longer than it, I thought it was for not doing this, you know? And then that will give us a more exaggerated flip. There we go, that's cute, huh? Just tease everything up to where it is right. All right, here we are. Oh, I love the way it turned out. And honestly, I just kind of futzed with it until it did right. Okay. Here is my medium hair 60s flip. I really hope that y'all enjoyed it. Um, if you like this video, please make sure to like it down below. And if you like me and you'd like to stick around, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every single Monday and Friday. See y'all on Friday. Bye.